There are some important people to know at GCJHS when you need help or answers to questions. Here is a list of our office staff and their jobs. Please seek these people out if you have any questions. Hey Cougars, it's Mr. Jack, your principal here at the junior high school. We sure missed you the last few months and I bet you've missed your friends and teachers too. We're glad that you're back in the building. It's going to be a little different this year with masks and social distancing and students in virtual school, but we're still going to learn a lot and have a lot of fun this year. Let's make the most of it. Have a great year. Go. Hi, I'm Mr. Sincroft. I'm the assistant principal. Let's make it a great year. Remember, we're all in this together. Welcome back. Hi, I'm Mr. Ross. I am the Dean of Students. Um, I'm new here and uh, so everybody's welcoming me, so I'm welcoming you. Excited to start the 2020-2021 uh, school year and we'll see you in a couple of days. Hi everyone, I'm Mrs. Fortuna. I'll be your counselor if your last name begins with A through K. We're excited to see you tomorrow. It's going to be a great week. Hi, I'm Mrs. Smith. I'm one of the counselors here at the junior high. I see students L through Z, last names. We're excited to have you back, so I hope this is a great year. Hi, my name is Mrs. McAllister. I work in the clinic. We're super excited to see you this school year, and it's going to be an awesome year. As you can tell from your schedule, you have six classes every day. Here is what our daily schedule looks like for both grades. Each class is about 50 minutes long. Fourth period is longer, and during that time you'll have lunch, homeroom, and a study hall period in addition to your fourth period class. The schedule for today will be a little bit different, and right now you can see the changes. Your teachers will probably have this schedule posted in classrooms as well. You will go to all of your classes today. First period will be longer than usual, so we can give you your iPad and do some tours of the building. Second and third period will be a little shorter, but periods four through six will be the normal times. We're glad we are able to open the school building and start the year on time. However, the coronavirus pandemic has changed the world, and you will notice changes to many of our school routines and traditions as well. Keeping everyone safe and healthy is one of our top priorities, and all of these changes are put in place to make that possible. Here's an overview of our plan to limit the spread of COVID-19. You're required to bring a mask with you to school, and there will be many times during the day when you will be required to wear it. Whenever you can't maintain six feet of distance from other students, a mask must be worn. We will not be assigning lockers, except for the lockers in the band hallway for band and orchestra students, and the lockers in the gym for students participating in sports. Each morning, it is recommended that your parents screen you for symptoms of COVID-19, including fever, new or worsening cough, sore throat, chills, and other symptoms. When you walk through the hallways of the school, we will ask that you stay on the right side of the hall. Water fountains will be closed, but we do have water bottle filling stations in the building, and you can bring your own water bottle to school. Expect to have assigned seats in classrooms, the cafeteria, and on the bus. Large gatherings of people will be limited this year, including no dances or field trips, and the possibility of limited crowd sizes at athletic and other extracurricular activities. There could be additional guidelines passed along throughout the year. We wish we didn't have to do any of these things, but your health and safety are important. You obviously made it into school today, but let's review what to do when you arrive to school every day. If you are a car rider or a walker, you should arrive to school between 8 and 8.30 a.m. When you get here, you must report to the gym. As you enter the gym, you'll be directed to sit apart from the next student. You may need to wear your mask while you're in there. Athletes may put items in gym lockers as needed. If you come into the gym, please do not bring any food or drinks in with you. They can get spilled and leave messes for our custodians to clean up. At 8.15, adults will begin dismissing groups of students to first period classes. Please wait until your group is dismissed before leaving the gym. As you leave, please maintain six feet of distance from other students. Walk on the right side of the hallway and keep your mask on. You should report directly to your first period class. If you're eating breakfast, you, should, you can go across the hall to the cafeteria. When you get your food, you'll take your breakfast to your first period class. If you get dropped off or arrive to school after 8.15, you should come into the building and go directly to your first period class. If you ride a bus to school, here are the procedures that you'll follow when you get here in the morning. First round buses begin unloading at 8.20 a.m. in groups of four to six buses at a time. 
As you come into the building from your bus, please maintain six feet of distance from other students, walk on the right side of the hallway, and keep your mask on. You will also report directly to your first period class. Athletes may put items in gym lockers as needed. If you're a bus rider who's eating breakfast, when you come into the building, you can enter the cafeteria. Just like everybody else, you'll take your breakfast to your first period class. As second round buses arrive, you will also be dismissed from your bus in groups of four to six buses at a time, and you'll follow the same procedures above. As everyone comes into the school in the morning and you get released to your first period class, it's important to go directly to that classroom. If you gather up in large groups in the hallway or congregate in the hallways, it can help lead to the spread of COVID-19, and that's something we're definitely trying to avoid. We've made some changes to our passing period procedures to help with health and safety. Passing periods are shorter, but remember that you don't have to lo a locker that you need to walk to in between classes. Passing periods should be used to travel from one class to the next and use the restroom if you need to. You should carry your iPad safely and appropriately. As you walk through the hallways, remember to keep your mask on, maintain six feet of distance from other students, and walk on the right side of the hallway. The next slide will cover how you can carry all of your school supplies from one class to the next. Since you won't have a locker this year, we're allowing every student to carry a regular size backpack or drawstring bag in all areas of the building. You can use this to carry your iPad, notebooks, binders, any workbooks for your classes, pencils, pens, and all of your school supplies. Your teachers will have different procedures for you to follow in terms of storing your bag or backpack in the classroom. Students are expected to follow any of those procedures that are announced by their teacher. On the screen now you can see our school's policy for electronic devices. You are not allowed to use any personal electronic devices during class or during passing periods from 8.35 a.m. until 3.25 p.m. This includes phones, music players, AirPods, and headphones, gaming devices, and any other electronics. If you need to contact parents or guardians during the school day, you can make phone calls from a classroom, phone, or a phone in the office at appropriate times. If your family needs to get information to you, they can do so by contacting the school office. Let's review some procedures for lunch. This is one of the areas where we have some major changes from last year. We have four lunch periods at GCJHS, and you can see the lunch times on the screen right now. Your lunch assignment is determined by your fourth period teacher. There are new rules in place about paying for your lunch. Cashiers will not accept any cash or checks in the lunch line at breakfast or lunch. This money can be turned into the office or to your first period teacher. Your parents can also put money into your lunch account online. Make sure you plan ahead with your parents at home so that you always have money in your lunch account. Here are the fourth period teachers assigned to each lunch period. If you forget what time you eat lunch when you get to fourth period today, just ask your teacher and they'll let you know what time your class will eat. The first day of school is always crazy and it's easy to feel lost. Don't worry. Every adult in the building is here to help you. Please ask questions when you need to. This school year will be unlike any other, and all of us will be required to display some flexibility, patience, grace, and courage. Every school is being forced to make some changes, but remember that our goal is to keep you healthy and safe. Most importantly, remember that we care about you and that we're all in this together.